and I just got one more thing to say. How about them Cowboys? What's going on, Cowboy Nation and Angry Cowboy fans around the world? It's your boy, the Angry Cowboys fan here on YouTube, the place where y'all can find my raw and uncut emotions about the Dallas Cowboys 24-7, 365, and as long as I'm alive, y'all know I'm representing D.C. for life. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning's episode of Get Up told us Everything that we needed to know about Jerry Jones as far as his contract negotiations are concerned with Mike McCarthy as well as Dak Prescott. Dominic Foxworth, Dan Graziano, and Jeff Saturday laid it all out on the line for Cowboys Nation as well as Jerry Jones. Jerry, we hope you are listening. But with that being said, we are going to get into the one and only clip that I have so I can go ahead and discuss this with you and give you my raw and uncut so dominic foxworth and jeff saturday take it away and this goes back to the original point that i made in the first segment yeah. jerry jones seems to be having a difficulty balancing raising his franchise value which he seems to believe is which he's right about is making your franchise interesting mm-hmm. things that are interesting mm-hmm. raises his franchise value It does not improve his chances of winning. So saying to Yahoo on the side, oh, yeah, I like Bill Belichick. How do you think that goes over in a locker room that you want to come together? So you want everyone to come around your coach. Normally, you don't let a coach go into the final year of his contract because he looks like a lame duck. He's not only letting him go to the final year of his contract, he's also winking at Bill Belichick. Like, this is not the recipe for winning a championship. And then when they come up short, he's going to push Dak out there like he does every time and say, we only went as far as Dak could take us. It's, yeah. it's foolishness. Never mind your defense gave up six yards yeah. of carry. They shoved it down your throat. Like, enjoy it. We'll take it. It's all Dak's fault. Like, I'm not saying Dak played great or played well, but come on. Like, it, like in totality, as a general manager, you haven't hit the mark either. You just can't fire yourself because you're the owner. But if we were looking at general managers, we would say, oh, the middle of the defense was really weak. No run game. There's some, well, there's some things that we should have fixed that we didn't fix, but we're not going to blame ourselves. We're going to blame McCarthy and Dak. That's the two easiest places to stop. We're going to blame McCarthy and Dak. That's the two easiest place to stop. Cowboys Nation, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to the last game that we played, the playoff game, the wild card weekend game that we played against the Green Bay Packers. Everybody wants to put it on Dak Prescott. And yes, Dak Prescott played badly, but it was a team effort. You can go back and look at that game and see that it was a team effort in that loss. Cowboys Nation, we know for a fact that Jerry Jones loves his money. We know for a fact that Jerry Jones put the Dallas Cowboys out there as a circus act and not a real football team. If we were a real football team, wanted to get this championship, he would do everything humanly possible to get us in a position to win. Look at the San Francisco 49ers. I know there was a lot of Dallas Cowboys fans that objected to my last video talking about the San Francisco 49ers, and we need to take notes. But guys, gals, Cowboys Nation, When they need to be aggressive in free agency, they are aggressive in free agency. When they need to be aggressive in the draft, they are aggressive in the draft. Look at what they did with Trey Lance, even though Trey Lance did not pan out for them. They were willing to break the draft bank for him. When has the Dallas Cowboys done that in recent history? We have picked people that are great players that fall into our lap. When was the last time the Dallas Cowboys have been aggressive in free agency as well as the draft let me know that in the comment section but ladies and gentlemen dominic foxworth and jeff saturday hit the nail on the head jerry what are you more worried about are you worried about getting this championship with the team that you have with the coach that you have because he has proven in the regular season that he is among the most winning coaches recently with 36 wins Three 12 and five seasons. That's nothing to sneeze at Jerry Jones. That's nothing to sneeze at Cowboys Nation. We have a ticket that's already punched into the playoffs. 
and we haven't even made it. That's what Cowboy Nation looks at. They're looking at how we could get past the wild card round and the divisional round to get into the NFC Championship, but we're not paying attention to the fact that we have to make it to the playoffs first. And Mike McCarthy and Dak Prescott can guarantee you that we can make it to the playoffs, but we have to get over that hump. And getting over that hump includes everybody in the organization, not just Dak Prescott, not just Mike McCarthy, not just Micah Parsons or CeeDee Lamb. We need a 53-man roster that can get the job done. We need an organization in the front office that will get the job done during the draft as well as free agency. Cowboys Nation. I know that this is a tough loss for the Green Bay Packers, and a lot of us are still reeling over it, but we have to get over it. We have to continue to march on and be Cowboys Nation and be Dallas Cowboys, the Cowboys that we know we can be. We have a championship caliber team. We don't have a championship team yet. I believe Mike McCarthy misspoke when he said that in his presser after he was retained. We don't have a championship team yet, but we have a championship caliber team. The only thing that we need to do right now is add to those pieces. And with Jerry Jones out there not solidifying Dak Prescott as our quarterback moving forward, not putting that in the press, just say that Dak Prescott is our guy moving forward. Don't put the blame on him saying that we're going to go as far as Dak Prescott takes us. No, Jerry Jones, we are going to go as far as you take us we are going to go as far as the front office is going to take us because if you don't give us the pieces that we need how will we succeed how will we get over that hump we were in desperate need of linebackers you didn't move and when you did move you got the bottom of the barrel we were in desperate need of a running back Derek Henry he was right there right for the picking you didn't move. Jerry, you say that you will write the biggest check. We don't know what kind of check you will write to get another Super Bowl. Write the check. Solidify Dak Prescott as your quarterback moving forward so that's not another obstacle that we have to face in the offseason and in the preseason going into the regular season. Get this contract done. I know there's a lot of Cowboy Nation that don't want to see it, but the majority of them... We know that Dak can lead us to the promised land if you help him. So, Jerry, it's on you. Are you going to help your franchise quarterback get the pieces that he needs on offense as well as defense to secure a spot in the playoffs and to secure that we can get past the wild card round and the divisional round? Or are you just going to sit there collecting money in your reality TV show? It's all on you, Jerry. Nobody else. This has been your boy, the Angry Cowboys fan. What did you guys feel about what Dominic Foxworth or Jeff Saturday had to say about Jerry Jones and the Dallas Cowboys? Y'all let me know that in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're digging the content, by all means, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you can stay up to date with the Angry Cowboys fan whenever I go live or whenever I release a video. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe I'm going to go live tonight so we can talk, so we can discuss and have that conversation because I got to thank you guys because this is the first season of the Angry Cowboys fan. We got through a whole season together, Angry Cowboys fan family, and I only have you to thank. But with that being said, this is your boy, the Angry Cowboys fan, and I'm out.